Good morning. I'm on the uh, very busy Belfast Tuel Carriage Way just at the top end of Beaver Estate. Uh, this uh, Jewel Carriage Way will take you down to Forest Side and it's opposite the big Tesco uh, that I'm standing. And this is Beaver Parish uh, Church of Ireland that sits on the edge of the Beaver Estate here. Uh, this church has been uh, in situ for what, about 60 years? I think it was built uh, when the estate was being built in and around the early 60s. Uh, it had to be rebuilt after the uh, massive beaver uh, forensic bomb which took off the entire roof of the building. And uh, why am I doing this? Well, this, this was the church all those years ago that Tanya and I were married in and it was a Reverend Hannah and we were married here what 35 years ago uh, and it was the, the Reverend Hannah uh, married us here and we continued uh, along going along to this church and we were highly involved very much a, a community church a nice rainbow in the background um, Church, um, caring church for the local community, and uh, I was super, Sunday school superintendent for three years here <laughs> for my sins, uh, and that was some crack. Um, good people, very very fond memories of this church and the people in it. So if you ever uh, are looking for uh, a place to go uh, to say a few prayers, uh, the good thing about the Church of Ireland. And uh, the Catholic Church is that their their door is always open, and, and uh, very very few church churches are like that, unfortunately. Um, excellent church. Uh, you, you may notice the architecture of the church. This is not the, this the, the the architecture of this church uh, was was ultra modern whenever it was being built and people must have looked at it and said what kind of building's that and this uh, church building actually broke the mould in uh, modern architecture and it, it actually works very well I, I'm not a big fan of uh, some modern architecture but this, this actually works And I like this on the notice board here. Worship has ended, now the service begins. So if the church is not active in the community and carrying out what is said in the Bible, then you might as well forget about it. So I think that's very good. And look at the lovely rainbow in the background there. Beaver Parish Church. And the minister who married us was the, the Reverend Hannah. I don't know where he is, I don't know whether he, he's about. The last thing I heard about him, he was way down the Arch Peninsula. And the minister that we would remember most, of course, was the unforgettable uh, Reverend Tom Keatley. And I've just come in through the foyer area. And there's lots to attract the eye there. Posters here showing the, uh, the missionary work of the uh, Church of Ireland. Notice board. And I think this is great. Welcome. And these are uh, going to storehouse for the benefit of the needy. Uh, 
I've got uh, uh, Reverend Adrian uh, McCartney, uh, and he is the present incumbent. Is that the uh, the, the, the word we use? Yeah, word. And uh, Ad Adrian, you have been here what a couple of years, or no, about two months. <laughs> two months. <laughs> Weeks. And I see that you're dressed uh, in festive attire. Yeah, well, if, if you look that way, you'll see there is a Christmas tree up and Advent candles. Yes. So it, it's the third week of December at the minute. Oh, jolly good. And you're enjoying well, the experience. It's fabulous. Uh, yeah. It's a beautiful church. One of the things that, I, that always struck me about it was the, the amount of light yeah. that, that got in. Yes. And I thought that was that was excellent. You know, I love I love the stained glass window up at the front there too. Yes. Uh, you know, that was that's, a. That, that's actually called the Church of the Transfiguration. That's right. Uh, so that is the Transfiguration. Yes. Jesus, Moses, and Elijah at the top. Right. And then as Tom always used to describe the three ugly disciples <laughs> down at the bottom, because in the. I, uh, I'm not sure if this is completely true, but I think this window was made out of the broken glass after the bomb that destroyed this building. Right, right. So it, has, it, it came back. So, Slightly distorted looking. Yes, yes. That's, that's uh, but Tom always thought that that is a true reflection of the human condition. Condition, really. And that's Reverend that's Tom right. Keatley that you're. Reverend you're, Tom you're, Keatley, you're, the previous in, the, incumbent. And uh, yeah. would he be still classified as your senior minister? No, the Church of Ireland doesn't do that. Does they, they not do that? Thing. Right. So, but Tom and, and Mita, his wife, do live in the parish. Yes. Uh, and are still involved with us as right. part of it. And again, that would be a bit unusual. Tom yes. has been a great support and a support yes. to me, so uh, when I was appointed here, the least I could do was uh, allow Tom and his family, or not allow, it's the real words, uh, they wanted to remain part of yes. the family here. And, and you weren't put off by that. that a lot of ministers would be put off. Yeah. Where's, where's the, the shoes that you mentioned yes. there? Well, people, when, when I was uh, coming here, people said to me, You've got big shoes to fill, and how are you going to walk in Tom's shoes? And so the first service that we had, um, I went and asked Tom for a pair of his shoes. Oh, they're so... And, uh, and the first service, I did mention that, that how could I ever walk in Tom's shoes? So there they are. Brilliant. Um, so you put those on at the start of, no, the the start of that service? Is, I couldn't walk in those shoes. <laughs> so I did hold them up and say, look, these are Tom's shoes, and I couldn't walk in them. But it's really important that we remember who did walk in them and where the journey this church has been on. So I said, why don't we just leave Tom's shoes? It's not, under it's the not, it's not, it's not, it's not, as a wee reminder of where we've come from. That's right. I, I, can, I can only walk in these shoes. That's, no. <laughs> that's brilliant. And, uh, You've got a, a, a family centre. What happens well, is, is that mother and toddlers or, or uh, stuff yes, like that? Well, there's a church hall in behind this wall, you know, the bog standard uh, right. church hall that, you know, youth, children, Sunday yeah. school, yes. all that sort of family centre just means a slightly, um, oh, slightly more comfortable place right. uh, for people to uh, uh, sort of have a, have a chat and, and relax. So, after a Sunday service, you come in here and have a, a cup of tea. There's, there's coffee and there's some seats. Ah, so we've had like a. Last we had a. We had a. Um, we had 40 people in last night for. Uh, what do you call them? Waffles. Mulled wine. And, fruit and, ah. and we had an Advent service. Lovely. But so that, uh, that must be for uh, Church of Ireland where we were married. And I remember that day. Uh, with Tanya, and we're still together. She's still putting up with me. Beaver Parish Church. And if you know you have no place to go as regards a place of worship, you could do worse than coming to this place.